As winter sports are gaining popularity, the market for winter sports equipment are expanding. According to the Ice and Snow Sports Development Program, the ice and snow industry scale is expected to reach 1 trillion yuan by 2025. Today, I will take you to a manufacturer to find out how the winter sports product market has boomed and evolved. Guangdong Province is China's manufacturing heartland. Many of the country's leading winter sports guild and clothing manufacturers are based here. Covering an area of 40,000 square meters, the Guangdong Yijia Optical Technology Company Limited specializes in making ski goggles. As Operation Manager Ming Wenfang says, the ever-growing number of winter sports enthusiasts boosted by the Beijing Winter Olympics has injected an impetus in the fast-expanding ice and snow industry. After the Beijing Winter Olympics, ice and snow sports, tourism and training have become more and more popular, driving the development of the industry. Compared to 2021, the overall sales in 2022 increased by 40%. We are very optimistic about the development prospects. The investment for research and development, as well as the automation equipment, is increasing by 10% per year. We also have a new factory under construction, which is expected to be completed in 2023. The production capacity will double by then. Data show that ski equipment and gear sales doubled year on year in January on JD.com, one of China's largest e commerce platforms. Ding Shizhong, chairman and CEO of China's leading sportswear company Anti Sports, says in the post Olympic period, more efforts are required to cultivate independent brands, support the development of industrial clusters for winter sports equipment, and a deepen cooperation between universities and enterprises to foster talent for this sector. According to estimates by the International Olympic Committee President Thomas Bach, China's winter sport industry is expected to reach 150 billion US dollars by 2025. The upgrade of the industry and the soaring sales of winter sports equipment all reflect that people's enthusiasm for ice and snow sports has not ebbed away after the Beijing Winter Olympics. On the contrary, the growing enthusiasm has injected new impetus into the sustainable and healthy development of the winter sports industry.